Hi, my name is Soren Anderson. Hi, my name is Marilyn Stepper. Uh, the question we were asked is, what does ethics mean to us? Um, Brandon, do you want to start? Well, to me personally, for basic, for basic, like, it's very complicated, but it's, uh, it's like, what's right or wrong, but it's deeper than that. It's it's like what's right, how will this affect this, what will happen, what like how will how will things work, what if this happened, then and it's it, it all comes down to whether something is right or wrong, so it gets a lot deeper. But, uh, for me I would say ethics is almost a way of expressing myself, uh, and it definitely speaking. Um, but you know, it's almost like an art form. Because you have to consider the other team's opinion, and there's lots of things to happen. And yeah. Well, I mean, ethics so isn't just know. about the ethics goal where you fight, where you're like against another team. The ethics, ethical philosophy, is something that that like that, that is just a thing that people learn. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for your thoughts on ethics, and uh, congratulations Thank you. on the victory.
just affects Cassandra and her family. Um, not wearing seatbelts or other things like that could potentially uh, impact more people than just, you know, uh, the person that who chooses to not wear a seatbelt as getting in a car crash can be can hurt multiple people. Um, but we also think that the courts should step in Some might argue are incredibly valuable to protect. 
A, because they have the possibility to enrich human lives and educate others, and B, because they serve as a remembrance of the past. They bring people together, and they unify what we understand as our history as a collective world, and they, they allow us to, to see the world through the lenses of, of you quite unique thinkers. Additionally, some might argue that donation is moral in itself, and that it violates someone's uh, uh, physical autonomy to tell them where to place their money. Particularly in the cases of billionaires, if their money is self-earned, they may believe that uh, we are not in a moral position to, to tell them where to send their money, believing that donation is, is a moral act if you have, uh, regardless of the, um, the extent to which it affects you, or regardless of which to the charity it goes to, as long as that's ultimately ending up with good. To me, ethics means the foundation of this amazing community in this class, and it means my favorite thing, which is hours and hours and hours and hours and hours <laughs> of conversations about things that we have to sum up in six minutes, and I have a fantastic time. Yeah, I think I think ethics is about learning and personal growth, and that is just something that is so intrinsic to this class. I have become such a better person than I have before I took ethics, and. I have it all to thank for my wonderful community and Ms. Boobinger Wild and Dennis Dalton and just everyone that has supported all of us in, in trying to learn and become better people through this process. And I think a large part for me as well is learning to accept the gray area and recognizing that there's so many different ways to look at a, a specific situation. And with our wonderful mentors, coaches, and the whole class, everyone really works super hard together to kind of create these positions where we explore the gray area and really learn to, to, to see the nuance of a situation, which is really valuable. Yeah, no, you can't apply Kant's moral philosophy to every situation, which is, you know, you gotta lose some.